my girl Doe with Brighter right here. Your inspiration station, Worship 94.5 FM. Fell in love with that song upon first listen, and I know many of you guys have as well. So I had to check in with my girl, talk about this, and much more. So we're going to holler at her right now. Doe, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Glad to be on here with you today. I appreciate you calling in. I'm going to tell you my first reaction when I heard your song, first and foremost. <laughs> and I was just chilling, and it comes up on my in my rotation. I was like, who is this? Oh, I love that song. So going from a situation, working with your family, dropping music that way, and then just kind of branching out. How did that, yeah. first of all, how was that transition for you? The transition was actually, I, I would say, I want to say stretching. And it has been stretching since then. Not so much just missing my family, but more so doing it on my own was scary. My family was very supportive. Okay. Like, I think a lot of people, you know, wonder about that because sometimes when you decide to do something and, and it was it was a group thing and now it's not, you know, people are like, well, were they upset? Did they feel like you messed everything up for them? No, you know, like uh, they always knew I was going to do this. And that it was in my heart to to sing and uh, to do something that was in my heart. But it's been very stretching. I think sometimes we're like, this is the will of God for me. And then once we step into that season, we think that it's supposed to be easy because it's the will of God and all of heaven is supporting what you do. But the enemy doesn't want you in that territory. You know what I mean? And right. you've got to grow into you got to grow into this new hat that you're wearing. So. Well, you didn't do bad. Let's say that. <laughs> you did Thank not you. do a bad job at all. Thank uh, you. you. Know, as, I, as I sit and listen to some of the songs and some of the messages you're singing in, it's almost like love letters to God. Was that intentional or is that something that just kind of happened in your creation? Yeah, so they're not all, you know, love letters to God. You know, it's like I don't ever sit down to write a song and be like, I want to write a song about this because this is popular i think more so for me it's like i have got to find a way to express what i'm feeling and understand my life and so that's how songwriting is for me and all of that was done throughout this journey of walking with jesus so you got like i try i am shedding this layer of performance that has kept me from really understanding the father's love uh, you know what I mean? Then you've got, hey, you, it's about, like, relationships and communication and how important that is. Like, people don't know want to say this, but, like, communication and relationships is godly. We just want to hawk a mashanda and speak in tongues all the time, but, but <laughs> not speak, in, speak nice in English. So right. there's, this, there's this deep message, I think, that is balancing to the, the gospel industry or, or genre that is saying, like, hey, the gospel – spreads to every area of our lives. And uh, and I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying what I'm saying. <laughs> and right. I know that that's what it's helping, you know, people understand. And I know sometimes when you're in the, the gospel arena, you probably tend to second guess your message a lot. So your process when you're creating your music, how do you kind of get in your element where you don't second guess yourself? You stay in the fight. And over time, if you're if you're doing it with the Lord and, and good, wise counsel in your life, you stop second guessing yourself because it keeps you from moving forward. And if you're if you're if you're moving forward, there's gonna be a point in time where you're gonna get tired. Right. Second guessing and you're gonna realize this crap is slowing me down. And I have <laughs> too much to do to second guess and look at every step and be like, am I going to miss God? Is he going to, you know, is he going to destroy my life? Like, God knows how to get a hold of me. My heart is so uh, in his hands. You know, I, I live this, I live a lifestyle of prayer. I'm trying to hear his voice. And when he speaks to me, then I'm like, whoa, slow down. You just, you got to stop. You can't, you can't do that if you're going to, if you're going to move at the pace that God wants you to move, because that's going to slow you down. And really second guessing ties back to fear that's really what it is in nature it's fear of missing god's will it's fear of missing the mark if i can say that and right. you only have one life you you cannot waste any of it on fear i love that now of course we are facing a situation in, in the world with this pandemic like like no other like nobody in our <laughs> lifetime has experienced so there's a lot going on on each end, even for the creatives. So with 
this latest test and trial that the world has, I guess, taken on, how has that helped or hindered your creative process? I think it's helped my creative process because it brought a lot of emotions up. You know, 2020 for black people, I'm assuming you're black because I'm listening to your voice. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm mixed, no, I'm <laughs> Right, 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 right. Hey, well, they're treated as black in America. But, right, uh, right. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but I think, you know, 2020 was not just like a <laughs> COVID pandemic. Um, the covers were lifted on the racist pandemic that had been happening for years and the and prejudice and, and all of that and so I think it was hard for black people period I think um, it forced me to um, make some tough decisions to move forward in my heart and and you know I have to say this though I'm so grateful because I it did not affect me in a negative way as far as like being able to travel and stuff because you know, you're listening to my art, but I'm a worship leader as well. Okay. And uh, for, for worship leaders, churches needed us to come in and help them record worship sets. So I would go in and record four worship sets, and they would just use that, you know, throughout the, the month. So I traveled more in 2020 than I ever had before 2020. So it was me being able to be a blessing to the church and the church being able to be a blessing to me. But it was just really with the Lord. So anyway, I said a lot. <laughs> um, somebody, somebody can make sense of what I just said. Somebody got it somewhere. Well, I'm loving mm-hmm. it. So what, what is next for Doe? I know we have brighter, and we've been, we've been loving this song, and you, you dropped a few performances, uh, acoustic performances as well on your YouTube channel. Uh, the EP yeah. is out. Uh, what else yeah. can we expect from you uh, coming in the next few months? Well, I have. So I always tell people my EP is a prepositional phrase of the entire statement that I feel like I'm about to make as an artist, there is a, it's like a, it's the first part of the sentence with the comma. And I need everybody to know that I finished the sentence and there's a period at the end. So I'm so excited. We finished our album and it's, it's looking like it'll be out in October. I, I literally can't wait for what God is going to do through these lyrics because they were very honest as well. And I felt like in the EP I wrote for me and I expressed from my heart, the rest of it, there's more in there for what I feel like God wanted to say to other people. I'm, I'm excited about it. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to be looking out for it. I know I will just because of the EP is such an easy listen, and I'm just totally in love with Brighter. I know you have more songs on there. Take me back. Oh, yeah. I think you I think you took it there. <laughs> so yeah. I love that track as well, but I am looking forward to the full-length project. And I know that you're going to definitely shine even brighter with that. No pun intended. But, you know, <laughs> we know what's going to happen. So I'll be on the lookout for it. Thank you so much. That means the world. Not even a problem. And I appreciate you calling into the love offering. You guys be sure to check in with my girl on her social media page, Doe Jones Music, and also her website, DoeJonesMusic.com. All right. I have more on the way for you right here. The Inspiration Station. Swords from 94.5 FM.